Hey everyone, Cody with the Recast team here. In this feature demo, we're going to be taking a look at the BitLocker Compliance Dashboard that's offered within RightClick Tools Enterprise Edition. The BitLocker Compliance Dashboard is going to be kind of your all-in-one stop for anything BitLocker related within your organization. It'll give you kind of an overview of where you sit and where you may need to make some improvements. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard itself. So we are in the Config Manager console here, and we are in the Assets and Compliance tab. We have the recast software node here. We can expand that. We will go ahead and click into BitLocker compliance. That's going to pull up our dashboard here. So we can either search for this by ADOU or by a collection. I'm going to go ahead and grab a collection here for us to look at. And then we can hit scan. And that'll pull up our graphs here. So on the left hand side here, we have the BitLocker recovery key storage. This is going to give you a feel for where your keys are at and any gaps you might have um, in key storage. So we can look at computers that don't have any keys stored, keys stored just in AD, keys stored in AD and MBAM, keys stored only in MBAM, keys stored in all three AD, MBAM, and Config Manager, as well as keys only in MBAM and Config Manager. And we can also click into each of the points of these charts and take a look at the devices that are within these sections. And we can right click on these devices and run some of our security tools. So maybe we needed to grab the BitLocker key off of this. Go ahead and pull up security tools. We'll grab MBAM BitLocker recovery keys. We can put in a reason for the request. And then boom, we have our keys here. On the right side, we have our unified compliance as well. That'll give you a view as to whether your computers are compliant with MBAM, Config Manager, both, or neither. And we can also click into these part pie charts as well and see the devices contained within. And another cool thing we can do is we can right click, go to security tools again, and pull up remote window security. And from here, we can go to the BitLocker tab and look at all of our derives and see um, if they're encrypted or not. It'll give you what method is being used if it is encrypted. But since this is not, we can actually go ahead and encrypt the device if we need to from here. 